Maybe you'll even find a girl for a- What's that supposed to mean? You trying to pick me up? Like, oh my god. Ma'am, I am 14. How y'all doing? It's your boy JC and welcome back to more Tiny Bunny. We back in this hoe, bruh. Hey, so how you doing? Shake hand as usual. Welcome back to Black Business. Hopefully you're doing right. So it's been a little bit of minutes since we did the last or the episode three of Tiny Bunny. I'm honestly really, I didn't plan on doing this video with the tremendous support from all of the people from Tiny Bunny community. My Russian gang, you know what I'm saying? Russian gang. Y'all wanted to see another part, that's for sure. Which actually, uh, y'all informed me that there's different alternate endings, which I kind I kinda knew, I knew there was gonna be alternate endings, but I didn't wanna do a video until I finished the game entirely. So until episode four and five is already out. But I guess since, you know, there's a lot of y'all kinda asking about it and asking for it. And I kinda realized my, some of my theories can be confirmed from episode three if I tried different endings. So we just gotta do the alternate endings. I don't know exactly how hard or how long this is going to be. I don't know exactly. And shout out to everyone who uh, responded to my question. And any Russians that can understand it, pretty much the majority of y'all that commented could understand what I was saying. So some of y'all did recommend some games. So this is the end of games that we have so far on the list to play. I just finished Ebba Light and I'm gonna be continuing Perfume Air. I'm trying to get all the games that I pretty much has not finished or haven't started done out of the way so we can get through the list quick. If you are gonna recommend something, I will say that I will definitely get to it, but you're gonna have to get, be patient with me. I'm gonna do a playthrough of it sooner or later. So we'll see how that goes. But um, uh, the homie Ep Epicopius said, well, Russia's system before addressing each other is kind of, kind of complicated, more complicated than Japanese, which Japanese, they have their names. They be saying your last name before you say your first name, but translators just don't do in their work. So not adapting to Western custom, but we will give it an implication. It's not too bad, but it could create confusion like this. There's nothing sus with the uh, the cop or the teacher. They're just addressing the, the youngster supposed not relatives, first name, uh, patriot, nomic, and and we're even dismissing the whole concept of the scene, like the Robshka stuff. So I kind of assume when I made that kind of theory that it could be debunked that maybe that's just how they address each other. So I didn't want it to go too deep with that theory, but definitely it makes more sense now realizing that the fact that the theory of Polita and Elisa being similar because of how they addressed uh, Anton, but at the same time, like like he just said, that it's just Russian culture. That's how they address each other. Vid is a creepy logo of a TV channel on a russian tv in the 90s the symbol of horror of children i don't understand almost anything but i watched i watched the whole thing because the game is great At the same time english words be familiar i'm guided by emotion the sense of all people are the same okay 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 but the homie uh dayla dayla i'm just gonna call you dayla he or she says pretty much gave me a uh, little i guess instruction manual of to get a different ending for episode three so we're gonna try that let's see let's go let's 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 get up in this bro come on bro Never thought I'd come back to you. All right, so homie says, we're gonna have to make a new save. Another thing that if you guys, I, I don't think I included it when I first started episode three, but Tiny Buddy did say on their Instagram that before starting episode three, you would have to replay the first and the second episode. And that's pretty much just because of the fact that the way they have their game engine go set up, it just doesn't let you continue off of your last save to the next episode. So we might have to do that for the last two episodes of the game, but I think it's good for me because I get to refresh my body of what all would happen all right so the first thing daylight says we don't take the mitten so let me do a little skippy skip lie to mom so these options here i don't know if they gonna aid to anything i'm just following daylight's comment but all right so let's not take the mitten so let's do this hold up they're gonna run away take the mitten run away bro so let's run Oh crap, all right, Hello? what if they attack? Oh yeah, wish your dad could just shoot them Mama. all, look, they're uh, alive. Okay, are they your friend or foe after all? Make up your mind. Not a little kid no more? Well, uh, some detective I am. In reality, I wasn't risking my life am among monsters, rather my parents among a pack of stupid strays. Okay. Come here, boy who cried wolf. Maybe it wasn't Volvo's mitten at all. Maybe it wasn't a bit at all. Just like the four spotters. And oh yes, owl. Am I going bad? 
So we didn't take the the bid. So we didn't have the scene where we show her that the all oh, the bid's full of blood, but then we find out we were crazy. All right, so we got a different achievement this time. Run for your life. Seems like the house hasn't came changed. So with this save, we're gonna go to the last page and save here, just so I won't get confused with the alternate endings. Um, so we're going to school this time. Yes, this Who's there? All right, we're at the. We're gonna get to the school. We're gonna beat Elise for the first time. Just to leave the game. And then I noticed something remarkably eerie. Cooked child came alive with a guttural, guttural roar. Can we see a lice? Almost felt like features deterred light, unnatural pose, and still fear. As over popping out of sockets as it stood there, Blinky tried to chase away that illusion. All right, the shadow did disappear. It even got closer. Bite size were gripped by ore. Horror. What the heck? The stray stopped running from the snow. We see the mitten. Is this the same mitten? Could it be one I found in the forest? Oh, snap. So if we didn't take the mitten, it follows us? What is it doing here? I look closer and I realize it was just my mitten. Maybe Bob stuffed it in there when I was asleep. A certain missing boy immediately came to my mind. Hey, do you know about Vulva? I imagine the scene, the silhouettes dancing in the clearing. Yeah, yeah. Dancing on the night when Vulva had disappeared. A boy, when found, could provide a big reward, maybe to save my family. I remember my birthday, parents promised to take me and Oya to Disneyland in Paris. On the night Vova disappeared, I think I saw someone who looked like you dancing on my window. Alright, could it be true? It felt like her mask became more sly. The fox was sniffing me out. <laughs> oh, that got you worried. Oh, for yourself or for someone else? Oh yeah, as soon as I thought about my sister, my chest tightened. A cold sweat streamed down my spine. Well, listen closely, boy named Anton. Mm-hmm. Alright. It's not only a tenant. Yeah, so her friends know about her. Alright, so this is it. The storm in the sweets in her palm. City where sweets like these were sold at markets or kiosks. All right, let's look over here. Kiosk, small container type shops, wheeled assortment of products, bubblegum to vodka, clothing, or even home appliances. These types of shops were popular in 90s Russia, more often than tied to criminal organization. All right, so we refuse the candy. So this is interesting because, again, I had a theory about the candy where it's supposed to do something to us. I don't know, because we didn't take the mitten and we didn't... Take the candy, refuse. Uh, no, thanks. I didn't want to offend the person I made contact with the new place, but I also didn't want to take gum off the hands of some weird girl. What if she found it in a snow pile? Or what if it's a, a prank candy? The kind that blows up in your face when you unwrap it. I'm allergic to sweets. Yeah, she sounded puzzled. Are you in the world of pills and mixtures? Low key, yeah. What's that supposed to mean? You trying to pick me up? <laughs> like, oh my god. Ma'am, I am 14. Palm was empty, flo uh, floating in the air, catching snowflakes now that all the candy has suddenly disappeared. And you only celebrate New Year's once in 12 months, right? And you have those. She clicked her fingers trying to remember something. Mondays. Yeah? I smiled. Man, you're a difficult case. I describe, I prescribe your kilo of chocolate to battle your boredom, young man. Young man? Um, I refrain from asking that question. She wouldn't answer anyway, or she'll just lie. Really wanted to see what's behind her mask. I was becoming more and more sure that underneath it wasn't this young, simple girl. What if Vova also found a pile of snow with the sweets and is now rolling in it? Actually, what if he decided to stay in the forest? I got some theories now. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What is what does she what does she mean by that? He must be so cold without a second mitten then. When caught her words like smoke from a fire and carry them deep into the darkness into a creepy thicket, the trees behind me creaked with their bony branches. Oh, what if something happened to him along the way? Something terrible. The force reacted to her words, became alive. She, she, if snipped me out, 
pricking up its ears just like a curious beast. Fox girl pierced me with her eyes again. Wild beast. You find that scary? Well, I don't know. He doesn't know. Oh my, have I befriended a dunce? I didn't like being called a dunce, yet being friends with her sounded nice. My grades are good. Really now? <laughs> Will you come with me? Good grades, Anton. We'll find your Volvo and you'll be able to ask him what he found deep in the forest. As long as you're with me, nothing can hurt you in the forest. You'll see. So it looks like if we resist, uh, what'd she say? Or he. We don't resist F Semyon. After this, there's no choice between Elise. Elisa and Paulina. So we don't resist Semyon, so pretty much we have to fight him. Uh, worms of worry writhe in my belly. Better run, I whispered in my you. mind. I don't want to believe you. Do you take me for a liar? Whatever, you're just like everyone else. Spell else correctly next time see me outside. The girl started hurt, although I didn't know if she was genuine about it. She stood around as she immediately lost all interest in me. I remember my dad's favorite saying, Where are your manners, son? <laughs> no. no. Uh, indeed, this fox is kind of me. We beat every <laughs> feminist. I mean, uh, please don't get me mad. Foxes can also be nice. Like in fairy tales. I just need to know what kind of fox you are. The girl giggled, it's hiding the nose of her mask inside her head. Then follow me into the forest and you'll get to know me. Uh, but not right now. When it gets bright. I mean, your whole body's shaking, you poor thing. I don't want you to get a stroke. Hey, let me accompany you to school. Uh, why don't you take that to Volvo? Since you know where he at. After hearing this, a dog barked in agreement. It stopped us with the bit. And Lita tried to grab the piece of head where they almost ran away from me. Well, if I go to the same direction... Whatever, ho. Nobody can see you but me. We went to the tour of the school with the lost. And the lost door. And the lights came on in the windows of the house as we passed. <laughs> yep, got him. I love to see the replays. This is the replay for the NBA House of Highlights. Stop Stupid. There. I needed to run, but I was already surrounded by his cronies. Yeah, I don't remember seeing the cronies. Did, 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 did they have a crony? Shut up. She's been a snake in the beginning. Jesus Christ. What's up? Alright, what's up? What's up? If I'm correct, I shouldn't even get a choice between Polina and Elisa. I doubt be able today. Okay, so we don't even get a choice. So if we go back, uh, but she laughed. The worst part of... Yeah, so we just skipped. Instead of picking, we skipped that. You know, Sibion's waiting for me outside. See? Okay. I need to deal with the water water like a bad. So did I do it correctly? Because she said, um, I guess I did do it correctly because she said don't resist him. So do we have to resist them then? Unless I got your wording incorrect, bruh. Let me go back. I breathe out, stood up, massaging my temples. Sorry, sorry, sorry I tripped. Learn how to walk. Mind rat. <laughs> All right, bye bye, sucker. <laughs> Humility insulted. Okay. Okay, so I resisted Sebiot. I don't know if his uh, Dela's wording is incorrect or I read that incorrectly. Then my rage subsided and returned to normal. Always went home alone. Okay, so this time we didn't get to pick. Okay. So this is what we had to do. First, I slipped through the village and then over to the bridge across the river and then finally through the forest. Oh, crap. So I still run into Semyon. Look at this sucker, guys. He tripped so hard that he broke the floor. The repair, the repair for it. All right, so I still get the same scenario with Semyon. So I have to put on the mask. A voice whispered to me from the well of my subconscious. Just put it on and nobody will hurt you. Forrest froze, gazed at me with the cracks in the bark, and acted at slowly. I took off my glasses, got rid of the nasty sp Ooh, okay, this is different. There was a movement inside of the bunny mask. Uh oh, this is our calling, this is our theme. If something was trying to break out, and I needed to help it. I lifted up the mask and started moving toward my flaming cheeks. Just like in that movie with Jim Carrey, this mask had power. 
has strength. The carton touched my skin. I developed a skull, my nose, and took sh shape on my face. It smelled like animal layer and pine. My lips touched some sort of hard, very wavy material. My armor. My armor? Nigga, nigga, nigga think he in RPG. What? Strangely enough, the slits of the old carven mask I was able to see. I was able to see as good as through my glasses. Trail boys frozen and clearing. What the heck? As if this, the buddy man is supposed to represent who we truly are. Like we found, a, we lost a piece of ourselves and now we're putting that piece back on ourselves. The snowflakes frozen in the air, the trees whose shadows formed the black streams towards me. A weird silhouette in the early twilight behind the windfall. In all that silence, Simeon nervously whispered, hey guys, what's up with them? Whoa, so they're scared of us now because we found our true self. Oh, snap. I brought in my shoulders. My muscles felt like they were made of steel. Wait, did we turn into a monster? Like the way we've been seeing Paulina and like um, Elise, Elisa and uh, all the other kids. Plums of fog uh, flew toward me, breaking the trees. I was absorbing the force power with every pore of my body. Oh, homie is down bad. Buddy ate the school lunch, dog. I smiled under the mask. No, I showed my teeth. Whoa, my fists were aching, itching. My stomach was growling. Oh, He's turning. You asked for this. Uh oh. I made a step forward. I said, I carefully tipped, stepped toward me, and he was as if he was walking on thin ice. A trail from my dream snaked in front of me again. Endless, alluring. It was beckoning to be away from me, from all the problems to a wonderful new world. The world of magic never land. I pulled on the zipper and opened my coat and threw it into the snow with a fast motion. That I growled. Oh my god. I hope we're not making a fool of ourselves. Uh, I felt like something was frantically looking for the, the exit underneath my skin. I went towards Simeon. He's turning. F. Alright. Before you in your pampers XL, homie, let me finish this dialogue. That was the exit, bro. I'm gonna just. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, did I not just foreshadow that? Did I not just foreshadow this? Ah, uh, great. See, I'm glad I didn't go this route. I did not want to be more of a fool. The clarion blew up in a historic laughter. <laughs> Biasha was clutching his stomach. <laughs> Roma smirked. Shaking his head. We still gonna get punched? Then Simeon, who was laughing the most out of the three, spat on his knuckles and waved his fist like a club. You're such a moron, Tosha. Oh, wow. I fist collided with my mask. The fur didn't dampen the blow at all. There was no power, no magic smoke coming from the pines. I flew toward the bushes and landed on my butt. Dang, my vision bolstered by adrenaline a moment before returned to normal. Now that was something. I thought he'd get out of all fours and tear us into bits. Like a carrot. Yo, did you see that? Shut up, nigga. I'll really make you a gap. I'm about to make you the front and center mascot the gap. Shut up. Does this count as him hopping? This was even better. I sobbed. The mask had one advantage. If I cried down, nobody would see my tears. What a loody. You belong in a loody house. For animals, eh? Semyon put his knee into the snow. Ripped the glasses out of my dub figures. Give me back my glasses. I will make it home. B.S. Haven't you heard that buddies have a good sense of smell? Don't worry. Just use it. No, the only person I know who got a good sense of smell is you. Shut up. Man, yeah. yeah, whatever. Ah, hippity hop to your mama. Some man shoved the trophy into his pocket and flashed me a toothy grin. Besides, buddies don't even wear glasses. Now scrap, retard. I stood up still wobbly. My trees became blurry, dark wall. Three bright silhouettes were wobbling around me. There were blocks, black spots on them. Their eyes sockets and mouths. But it looked to me there were more of them that should be. I turned to the forest. Tibion's butt came to my rescue, kicking me into the butt, quickening my shameful retreat. Break, dog, break, dog. 
Dang, that's crazy. I threw the basket to Ravid out of spite. Ooh, masquerade. Look at that. So this time we walk home, beaten up and shaved. And then shame. Then zigzag through the fire brick alone at a giant snow laden world. The trucks around me bent in all directions. Bro, we don't even get Paulina, dog. Their treetops disappeared into the darkness above me. The sky was pushing me down. I wanted to cry, but my eyes were completely dry by now. Only sadness and longing were left. I decided to bury myself under the snow or leave for the Neverland, joining Fova and Senya. Wait, how do we know about Senya? We didn't get info word of that information until after, until season, um, episode three. Am I, if I'm not mistaken, I didn't care where to go. Just somewhere far away from here. We're somewhere very far away. Home is, I don't think we can do. Wow, so we got home? Oh, so we still run in, come home without glasses, but we don't have our dad with us. I see I... I can be so careless. Do you think I owe money, pretty press? Yeah, right. You'll be wearing your old glasses until next year. So she doesn't care. Oh, you rush to be. I saw a fox. I was doing my homework on a Friday evening as usual. I don't think we see this before. I already finished the hard part. The only There was only my art homework left, my favorite subject. Okay. So we haven't done this yet. Okay. So you gotta do the little outline sketch. I feel you. Uh, I needed to draw some sort of magical beast. Uh, you could just draw Sammy out of the gang. Uh, I wanted to draw Dito at first, but my brush reached toward the orange paint all by itself. What the? Uh, uh... No, we're not drawing a fox. Oh my God. One stroke after another, the picture of a fox started slowly forming on a piece of paper. It was almost popping out of the snow white sheet. It stood on a back legs and wore a sly smile. The brush moved again, drawing a fluffy tail. A moment later, dropped out of my weak head. Bro, if I get a jump scare off of this stupid picture, I'm gonna quit. I'm gonna control alt delete my art career. No one gonna look the scarier her smile felt. Could could never this fake of the like of the smiles of woman adult magazines, blah blah blah. Waiting. Whoa! Pops! Why? He just blew my back of my eardrum out. What if my eardrums are like a prostitute trying to get picked up, bruh? Dang, Pops! Are you deaf? Yeah. I, I was just thinking. I'll ask you again. Have you seen your sister? What the? She's even gone? She's hiding somewhere again. Just go find her, loser. She's something moving under my bed. I froze. The Oyo's dirty face peeked out with a finger. Uh, with the finger pressed to her lips. Bro, this dude is stupid. Oh, I was about to say. Oh yeah, I can see you. Get out of here. You're covered in dust. Oya crawled up from the other the bed, dusted off her stockings and looking down. Let's go. I'll read you a fairy tale. Keep you company until you fall asleep. I want to sleep with you. Not in that room. It's... Mom into the room. Oh my god. What? The hour again? And what do you think? Oh yeah, it won't come anymore. I chased it away. Oh your sugar's head at the fights. You did it. It will come. I said it will come every night. Oh, it talks now. Oh, yeah, ignored the question and asked the newfound determination. Can I sleep with you? Please. This will be the last time. Why did you let her sleep in my room? Yeah, what's the problem with that? You can't even take care of your own daughter. Thought it was a great idea, but Oya shook her head again. No, I don't want your room. It watches you too. Bro, if you you go you don't you don't get to have options. Oh my god, get out of my face. I have goosebumps all over my body. Enough. There is no hour. You sleep in your old room tonight. Got it? But please. Please. Bob took Oya's head, tried to lead her out of my room. Let's go, sweetie. Don't bother your brother. Oya clutched the butt's head with her free head. Please, please, please. I don't want to go. I don't want to go to it. Bob was trying, uh, was tugging uh, Oya towards herself, but she didn't bulge. Only the bed's head squeaked in agony. Dad intervened by picking up Oya up and carrying her out of the room despite her just desperate protests. And please, Dad. No, don't take me to it. It's going to watch me again. Dad. 
I uh, struggled to listen to that, but make my sister go to the bed for a while. My, in the end, my parents gave up and let Oya sleep with them. Yep, that's that white parenting. Surely it was less time ever. When everyone settled down, I was lying in my room thinking about Oya's words. It's watching you too. I felt uncomfortable. I barely managed to calm down after closing the curtains and my room shut. But as soon as I closed my eyes, memories of my day started jumping around in front of me. Do we still have the dream? Yo, we still have the dream. All right, so we in episode three now. Um, this is where we pretty much act like a D New York rat. All right, let's tell him. Unglued my palm from the tabletop. I needed to warn him, and at the very least, for all your sake, to assure her safety in the house near the squeaky pines. I raised my hand, heavy as a dumbbell. <laughs> Excuse me. Everybody letting their mama look at me. Even look at look this broad. Uh, almost two dozen heads turned my way. Kaya shoved an elbow into her friend's side. Yup, she's gonna forget snitch. Uh, sleepy Biasha reached, stretched out his neck. Fr Robka frowned inquiriously. I'm listening. All right, so we gotta tell him everything. Yesterday, I was walking to school in the morning and him. And I saw an unfamiliar person. My classmates started whispering. Tihigolda uh, frowned, deep, a deep wrinkle adjoining the space between his eyebrows. There's no way he'd be able to tell if it was an outside or a local. He just moved to a village. Shut up. Why are you trying to defend homeboy? You don't even know who I'm going to say. Other kids smirk. Can't you splash an evil smile? Calm down. He descri described them in more detail, Anton. And then it dawned on me. I could describe more than... Uh, I could do more than describe them. What could I do? I could draw them. Oh, snap. I know how to draw, kind of. Polina tilted her head and studied me with a intrigued look on her face. Yes, I know how to do that. See, you would have figured it out if we hanged out, but... You want me to? uh slowly nodded. Leopoldovna, we'll conduct a bit of experiments here, all right? Of course, of course. I took out a pen and flattened the sheet of paper. Classmates stared at me in anticipation. Polina smiled. It was the best reward I could get for my bonus. Well, go, they go. Draw. Alright. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we gotta actually draw. So, do we draw uh, Elisa first? Because I don't know what we're gonna do here. So, let's draw Elisa here. Van Gogh. I handed my drawing to the officer. What's this? A fox. Very funny. Should we send a pack of honey dogs on his trail? So, I'm trying to figure out because. Dela also says that we gotta draw. We gotta tell him everything, but we can only draw it. That's not it. Hey, Petrovna, maybe you also mess with a. Uh, I'm not gonna say that. What does that even. What is that? A cult character created by uh, blah blah blah. Main characters of the book is the Geta, the Crocodile of Freds. Later to feature one of the cartoons were also produced in Japan. So a little cartoon. I was burning the stake of shame. Case closed, I guess. No. Is that even what we needed to do? Hold on. So what does it mean? What is, uh, I'm, I'm the only thing I'm confused is like, what do we have to do here? Lila Povino passed by without looking my way. Uh, Paulina left after her. So I don't know if I did the drawings part correct. All right, so we still do the, it, everything seems so far turns out the same way. All right, so this time we have to turn off the game. All right. Okay, we're done playing. <laughs> we barely, we barely played. <laughs> Meanie. Okay. Mom only managed to get through me the third attempt. So we get a call. So that's pretty much it. So we should get a different ending. The pen fed on my weak fingers. Is that all she's gonna say? I skipped through some crap. Hold up. I picked up the pog. I've been thinking I need to tell you something. I froze. Can't be. Does she like me? You've been looking so lost lately. Oh snap. Polina's not even being nice. And when I saw you at school today, you were a pale like a ghost. Couldn't find words. My heart was fluttering anticipation. I wanted to say that I'm on your side. A smile was spread on my face. Anticipation for Polina's next words. And I feel so sorry for you. Good guys like you deserve better. I want you to, I want to believe that you'll find the strength to fight back at some point and the others will stop picking on you. The pet fell out of my weak figures. Dang. Is that all she's going to say? Maybe you'll even fight a girl for it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you were supposed to do that. She said uh, she was unsure of her words. I just want to let you know you're there, nice. I'm dead, bro. I'm dead. Wow. She was holding a pink cover encyclopedia of a young lady. Will you take long? 
cover the hand saying with my hand in the middle of the conversation. Mom fell asleep. Can you imagine? There's someone in love with me and he snoops around under my windows demanding to go on a date with him. I'll go chase him away before Grandpa wakes. Dang! Maybe I should give him a chance. I bit my lip in jealousy. I'll tell him, tell you tomorrow if you want. We're friends after all. See, this is how Future deals with his rage. Oh my God. Friends, at least she didn't say we're besties. Yeah, that would have been, wow. Yeah, sure. Good. Dang, hung up. She didn't even care. Dirty slut, an angry voice spoke to my teeth and my brain. Like a restless zombie devoid of consciousness, I dragged my feet up to the staircase. I wish I could tell dad for his mentally advice, but he doesn't sh show up at home until late at night because of his new job. Wow, so you guys see how the connection between our options and how it changes? My parents don't have time for me, to put it lightly. Well, where's your book? And you already know, oh yeah, it's gone. So she gets still taken by Elisa. All right, so we still meet the, the, the people. So take a mask. All right, so it's weird. Despite all what happened, we still meet up with the kids. We still become our true self. For some reason, I thought to myself I could trust them. And the dude's still hiding. All right, so he's still wearing the mask. Or even worse, where did Simeon disappear to? So we still eat the candy. All right, so we still do all of that. We wake up, there's another kid missing. So Katya still goes missing. We still get this end goal. I mean, there is different stuff that happens now, but unless I didn't do, the only thing I didn't do correctly according to Dela's instruction is that that whole drawing segment. But the only thing I couldn't figure out was like, who else was I gonna draw? So we definitely did get different options, different things that happen, but I guess we don't get like a different ending. We still get the same ending. We just get different routes that happen this time, which is not bad because I definitely didn't know what else we could see from getting from this and so this is interesting and how like if we don't get close to Belina she pretty much finds another kid and tries to is more interested in that kid now and we kind of get the loser route where we didn't really try to go after Belina so that's like the consequences so I feel like that would be the same instance if we didn't if we actually did pick between Polina and Lysa which I actually do want to see what happens when we pick between Elisa and Polina probably in, after we finish the game if there's another route that I did not do correctly if there's another way to get to another ending you guys have to let me know so i can try to like let me down in the comment section below let me know exactly all right y'all real quick bruh that is a weird ass pause shout out the boy alexander he commented on my episode two uh part three of the tiny bunny series that i missed something during the tv scene and i was supposed to like choose to set it looking for a tape and then you'll get some cool creepy lore exploration which is so annoying because i just i did know this and i did check that tv part at all and he sent the comment right after i <laughs> recorded this joke so i decided that if you guys want to see another video of me trying to go find all their alternative routes and even do what the homie alexander said i'ma need 30 likes come on bruh y'all went past the pay grade on the last two videos we could get 30 likes on this one come on 30 likes on this and i'll do an alternate video next week i promise you hit it soon as you can i am demanding you this is your over over all right stop so theories i have a couple of theories that may or may not be confirmed confirmation of the game or not but you guys saw in the early in the game when we went when we actually did the alternative ending she said something about vova but previously she didn't when you did take the candy and all that stuff so and she was pretty much saying that uh, what if vova did take the candy or what if he did go through the uh the forest i, I thought maybe that to me implied that if we can end up like vova if we don't go the route that she wants her to go which is accept our help and become who your true self that's at least what i got some other theories as you know the days been going by thinking about this watching through the gameplay again i can always say that maybe ramka has a crush on polina so maybe that's why he's really initially messing with us is because the fact that we're a threat to polina so i wonder if if we went a different route and not like you know be with polina would we actually be cool with ramka because you know you got to think about how how like so easy ramka 
just switched up on Simeon as soon as we kind of fought back it showed some resistance so to me in my head I think maybe there's a different route we could try I don't know in the next video or where the game finishes we could try a different route see if we could i don't know i, I mean i don't know it, unless we have to do the pick a lice uh, lisa's option instead of polita's option the route that i went through didn't even let us pick any of the options between polita and lisa we still winded up with the same route other theories i could think there's something obviously going on with the forest and the forest is like the main point to all of this how there's something always something creepy going on we see that one dude hiding in the background of the forest literally the forest is some type of like drug or something because every time we're in the forest we're just there's just we're always hallucinating you know my only other theory could be is maybe the medication that we take is to keep us sane instead of trying to uh, help us go to sleep and it's clear as day that, that even the mother has something to do with this as well like you know like even our family how they were hallucinated as well maybe you know you know with the the grandmother i have to go back to what the grandmother was saying at the beginning of the game but maybe they have something to do with they know more about the force than anton knows and the mother's not trying to say anything because you know how she's always in denial you know what i mean she's always in denial of there's no fox or owl oh my god God, shut up like because she doesn't want to admit that there is something crazy going on but yet there's something crazy going on with herself there's too many theories too much uh in loose ends but yeah you guys let me know what you guys think this is really interesting it's interesting to see the different routes the different turns that you could have gone into man this game is just interesting uh we gotta we gotta point it out um so yeah let me know if you think i should do another video or not and uh yeah let me know your thoughts and theories do you disagree with me do you do not let me know. Either way, y'all stay blessed. Keep your space strong. I'm gonna see what I see you.